Hey everybody, oh, welcome to my channel. Today we have Madam Glam and their new collection for November. I know this is late, but I didn't get the polishes in time, but um, that is also good for you. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. These are based on or inspired by Friends, the sitcom Friends. One of my favorite shows ever, something I've watched several times <laughs> through. Um, so if you're confused by the way I'm saying these names, um, that's because I know pretty much every line in this show. So let's take a look at all these polishes and I'll tell you my thoughts and, um, answer a couple questions that I missed in Monday's video about gel. Tara had like 20 questions and there were a couple of other questions that people asked me. Um, in the comments of that video, I want to try to answer everything. On my nails, doesn't matter because it's discontinued. You can't even get it anymore. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. All right, you can mute my singing. So this one uh, is a gorgeous, just like, bisque white it is beige um it was a little streaky with two coats but i'm gonna I'm state up front these swatch sticks are really kind of hard to paint because of the shape of them and the way they curve so bad so mm, i think that you would still need three coats with that one they are all Cruelty free, vegan, 21 free, HEMA free, palm oil free. They don't smell. Here is Food Coma. This one is slightly peach. Just slightly. And these are so opaque and creamy. You absolutely need to be careful about making sure your coats are super thin. Because if not, you're going to do like me on a couple of these. I completely screwed them up and I didn't get it um, cured enough. I, my, my coats were too thick. And we'll talk about that later. A naked guy. I didn't think I was going to like naked guy. But I ended up really loving this color. It is just a true neutral nude. All right, there's two coats of Naked Guy. How you doing? I definitely skipped around a little bit too much here in the colors the way I wanted them in, in the order I wanted them. But How You Doing is like kind of a grayish brown, beige, a grayish. Gorgeous. I mean, I really did not think I was going to like a couple of these and then ended up loving them all. You guys know I'm not a huge nude fan, but these are gorgeous. I'm fine. <laughs> this one is like slightly on the orange side. More so than um, Food Coma that is just kind of peachy. I think maybe you can see that on the camera. Pivot! Pivot! Again, if you've never seen the show, my, my reading of these names is completely confusing you. And um, Pivot is a little pinky, I'm going to say. Pink leaning. I totally screwed this one up, and I realized that I got it too thick, 
and go back and try to pull some of it off. Um, and then whenever I went to go paint the second coat, the first coat wasn't completely cured because my lamp had turned off too soon because my hand wasn't in it. And it just like slid. <laughs> so that one looks a little funny. I also did that to another one, I think. But it's absolutely beautiful. If you have your, your coats thin enough, you can see how bad I screwed that up. If your coats are thin enough, um, you won't have this happen to you. But they need to cure all the way through. Next up we have Taste Like Glam. That one I think is just the uh, perfect like light milk chocolate brown. Very neutral in its tone. I feel like this one would look good on everybody. We were on a break. This one is a little bit darker, more neutral brown. Yeah, kind of like a dark chocolate. Also, I don't put base coats on these sticks and that contributes to wrinkling. Because you always have to use a base coat for your gel to stick. So never think you can skip a base coat. Unless you're just painting swatch sticks. <laughs> well, excuse myself. Hi, I'm Chandler. This one is definitely a caramel brown. Really pretty. Just a little warmer um, than we were on a break. It is like a cool tone, but Chandler is definitely um, a little warmer. Beautiful. This one um, is actually Barista. And I found out they changed the name after I'd already filmed. So this one is called Barista. It, it is a beautiful red brick brown. So pretty. It is very warm. I love this one. I'm going to say that that is probably one of my absolute favorites in the whole collection. Will look gorgeous on everyone. So pretty. Totally screwed up that one. I put it put it in my, my lamp and it beeped on and then the light just turned off and I didn't realize it. And again, slid right off. Totally my fault. Here they are, are uh, lined up in order of what I thought was going to be, how I was going to put them on the swatch wheel, but that's not what ended up happening. But we'll take a look at them all on my skin. And like I said, I am um, slightly tanned, basic white chick. And there is Smelly Cat. That's going to look good on everybody. Oh, I don't know. Really, really, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I've got one girl that comes that um, she's got such porcelain fine skin. I don't know, that it, her, her skin tone is like almost that exactly. Okay, who remembers the 90s and we all wore nude, the color of our skin polish? I actually love that look, but it's back. All right. Um, here, Naked Guy. I didn't think I'd like Naked Guy. I love Naked Guy. Um, I don't usually tend to like Naked Guys. They're a little weird looking. <laughs> I'm fine. That one is, like I said, a little orange. Very pretty. Pivot. 
and you can see there how it's kind of got a pink tone that one is gorgeous tastes like glam that one is definitely just a neutral light brown how you doing this one is um, also neutral it's a little bit kind of gray leaning I have nothing like this this is so pretty I don't think I've seen a color like this you guys will let me know down below I'm sure if you have anything like that Chandler is just a beautiful caramely brown you can see it's a little little warm ah beautiful kind of gold none of these have any shimmer in them we were on a break this one is the most neutral of the darker browns absolutely beautiful perfect dark brown for fall all these colors are just gonna look amazing in all the fall Thanksgiving and barista oh it is like a red warm super warm a lot warmer than than break than take a break or we were on a break I am loving barista and there they are against my back of my hand I think you can see the tones a little bit better that way They are definitely true to the swatch sticks. Now, um, one of the other questions I had from um, Jennifer in the comments of the last video was polish seems to shrink away from her tips. She has problems with the color shrinking. So um, I'm going to show you on Freaky Fran here. Alright, so I'm just kind of scrubbing in is how you would do on a natural nail because they have, there's layers. Um, and then turn your brush around and kind of scrub the other way. And when you do that, your brush drags back across the tips and places polish on the tips. Um, my nails are curved and when I just swipe across the tip, I think my tips are covered. And generally it's just like the edges that I cover and that's it so then you're gonna go back across it kind of smooth it out but you can see it's all the way like over the edge and that's what you want see I just when I swipe across the tip like that I almost scrape off the polish and then we're gonna go ahead and put barista Oh, so pretty and a one coat and try to get all the way to the edges generally when I'm doing my nails I take a detail brush and everybody else's and paint around the edge to make sure I'm not getting on the skin but I'm covering all the nail and then with the color I do the same thing turn that brush around and pull it back across the tip and your tip will be completely covered and even over the edge a little bit, and that's just fine. See, here's why I would have a detail brush, but the lovely Valerie is otherwise engaged right now with another set of tips that I'm gonna show you here in a few videos. And then you're just going to finish pulling it down and smoothing it out, putting your second coat on. Um, okay, so I alluded to the fact that I got two boxes. They I guess didn't realize they sent me a box or they checked on the shipping and ended up sending it again I don't know they're really busy right now I think so um, that is good news for you guys I contacted them and say hey I got two boxes do you want me to send one back and she said no score for you <laughs> you want to host a giveaway and I'm like absolutely want to host a giveaway so I'm all about the giveaways you guys know that um, so uh, I am going to include international in this. Um, I don't know that I can even ship to Australia though. 
Um, evidently, we can't. We're, the United States is no longer able to ship to Australia. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But um, just put enter me down below if you'd like to win these. I do not include anything else. There's no base coat, top coat, or lamp included in this. But you do get 10 gorgeous Madame Glam nude polishes. So just put enter me down below. And I will just put it all in a random comment picker here in a week or so. And I will announce to who won. Um, I've got no control over it. Don't, don't give me a sob story. <laughs> All right, um, stickers, that was another thing I just kind of touched on. Make sure you wipe off all the um, tacky on the polish before you try to put a sticker on or the sticker's really not going to stick to it. And then when, same thing, when you're putting top coat on, you want to paint it both ways. So you're going to paint it um, base to tip and then cure that and go tip to base so that the sticker is completely covered and you know it is. I think these look adorable. All right, you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Madam Glam, for messing up and sending me two boxes because now I get to share that with everyone else. Um, my link is down below. Please follow that to check out these polishes or anything from Madam Glam. And use Guylene 30 to get 30% off. I do not earn a commission. They just send me products to show you, and I try to give you a, my most honest opinion. And I almost never hate Mountain Clan Polish. There's like nothing to hate about it. Um, but <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. And oh, there's some big news, uh, big discounts coming up. So be on the lookout for that. I'll let you know. And get your boxes. Get your advent boxes. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Hmm, I wonder where Lucas gets his ability to make up stupid songs that make no sense and sing them off key. Must be his mom.